not bad at all. All right, guys, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute before I start my day. It's really early. Um, I'm a little annoyed, I don't think. I keep on saying I'm not stressed out, but I'm annoyed. So I weighed myself today. I am up 0.8 from Friday, and I just can't understand how it could possibly be true. Other than the fact that I'm stressed, I mean, that is the only answer that I can think of because I'm getting my activity in, I'm trying, I don't know. I feel I'm trying. Pretty darn hard and it just doesn't seem to be doing me much good. So I think I'm stressed, I guess. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of is that I need to rebalance my cortisol levels. So I Googled, it's not like I don't have an ND a phone call away at any time, but anyways. So I Googled rebalancing um, um, cortisol levels and it says to incorporate fish oil which I'm not excited about because I've done that before and the one that I had who was yucky it was a pill but it was still yucky but anyways and B vitamins so I am going to go and try to find a good fish oil and um, a B vitamin um, maybe some other ones magnesium was also another one but i'm already taking the calm which is a magnesium based um, supplement and that's more for my digestion but a happy digestive tract is a happy person and with weight watchers my, my digestion has not been the happiest um yeah i'm a little frustrated I guess because it's like it's a never-ending circle because I'm stressed out because of other things and then I'm stressed out because I'm not losing weight and I'm just stuck I'm been stuck between the these like three to four pounds for what a month I don't know it's just so frustrating I just would like to get some kind of reward for the work that I'm putting in and I keep on thinking, well, maybe I could put more work in or whatever, but I mean, it has to be a lifestyle that I can maintain. And right now I just, I don't have the luxury of being able to go to a gym and um, I mean, maybe when the kids go back to school, but again, I don't know how that's going to um, work out because my son, my oldest one, often I'm called to go pick him up like right after school starts and I don't know how we're going to be arranging his days. That's still up in the air. Nobody's contacted me yet. So I don't know if he is scheduled for half days and if he's going for half days, I don't know if he's going for the beginning part of the day or the later part of the day. Um, so that's really up in the air too. Stress really sucks. At least it really sucks for me because I spend all this time thinking about why I'm not losing weight and that stresses me out, I'm sure, even though I don't know if I would call it stressed out. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what it really is like to not be stressed out about something because I'm one of those worrier type of people. I'm always worrying about everything. And I, the past year, I have really worked on you know, choosing my battles and choosing what to worry about and what's worth worrying about and what's not. And I've let, let a lot of things go, but there are just some things that I can't let go. <sighs> so anyways, that is my weight struggle update. Um, breakfast, I'll be having my one smart point coffee. Um, I think I'm going to have two egg whites for zero and I bought some more of those veggie patty things, the sausage ones, so I'll probably have two of those. I did buy a new microwave, yay! So um, I won't have to pan fry them because they're kind of, I don't know, it's kind of difficult to pan fry them and get them the way I like them. So 
Anyways, that is my update. It's yeah, five minutes now, but the struggle is real, people. All right, so I'll show you when I have my breakfast. All right, so this is my breakfast. I have two of the Morningstar veggie sausage patties for three, two egg whites for zero, and I have a piece of toast for two. So that's five, and then I have a one point smart coffee. Yes, yeah, smart coffee. Oh my goodness. One point cup of coffee. Got it out. And I got a tumbler full of ice water. So, this is my breakfast. Alright, so I am having, it is, I don't know, past 10 30. I'm having some grapes and possibly one of these for one smart point. Um, some good news is Jessie's package is no longer lost and it is with her. I am extremely happy about that. On the bad news side, I think my washing machine is possessed. That's just all there is to it. The washing machine that's been broken since April and they had to get the parts from LG and they were back ordered until about three weeks ago when they finally got the piece. They came and got my washing machine. It's been three weeks. They called me on Friday and said that it was ready and they could bring it by today. So they are filling up my washing machine. And I mean, I noticed the water level in it was really high. It's a front loader. So usually, you know, they don't use a whole lot of water and I'm thinking I've never seen that much water in there, but oh well. And then it starts dripping a little bit on the bottom and then a little bit more and then a, a gushing of water is coming out and it's still filling. As they were calling to see if they could figure out how to manually drain it, the door bursts open and water comes flooding all of my basement. I just, I just can't even <laughs> with the whole washing machine thing. And of course, they, um, yeah, so of course they went and they, I don't even know, I'm so mad about the whole thing. Oh, they unhooked my old washing machine, so now I can't even use my old washing machine or my new one that's broken still, apparently. <laughs> I could not make it up. The guys, the poor guys, they got soaked with water also. My basement got soaked. So somebody is coming out at 3 o'clock and I am on my way to Hobby Lobby because I need some relief because, <laughs> oh, I just can't even with this washing machine anymore. Ah, so. Don't get an LG if you don't already have one because apparently it's not a good idea. Even though my old washing machine that I've had for seven years is a front loading LG and it still works, which is a whole nother story as to why I had to get, or I felt I had to get a new one. Anyways, having a snack. I will show you what's for dinner or my lunch when I get back. So when I went to go film what I was having for lunch, my phone died <clears throat> and I just now got home and started charging it. So. Um, what I ended up having because I was frustrated, I'm an emotional eater, I tried to think of something that I wanted to eat when I was out that wouldn't be terrible. Um, I didn't want to have a salad because sometimes salads are more point heavy if you don't have your own dressing. So I chose KFC. I had, my plan was to have three chicken tenders and th and a mashed potatoes and gravy, which the chicken tenders are 11 and the mashed potatoes and gravy were four. I ended up just eating the tenders without the potatoes, so it was an 11 smart point lunch. Um, yeah, I was just thinking it was meat and it had protein. I know it had all the rest of the junk, but it did have protein. So that is that. I did get my fish oil. Hopefully it doesn't taste nasty. And then I got this super B complex. Um, 
to hopefully maybe right my cortisol levels. Although if somebody doesn't fix my washing machine the right way real soon, I am going to lose it. I mean, if LG had a business, I think I probably would have been, I don't know, she woman or something and thrown the washing machine through their front window because I'm that angry about it right now. So anyways, that was lunch. I'm gonna, I got my supplements. I'm also thinking I might do a cook with me video, um, Chipotle chicken bake. And I'm gonna do the recipe builder and see actually how many points it is. All right, I will talk to you when I have dinner. All right, so this is my dinner. It is nine smart points. This is the um, Chipotle chicken bake that I made. And this is seven. And my salad is two, one for the croutons and one for the Jalapeno Ranch by Opa. So nine smart points for my dinner. And I have five left for the day. Okay, so I have five smart points left. This is going to um, take me to an even 30. I'm gonna have one of the Chips Ahoy Thin cookies for two. And then I'm gonna have one of these for three. I thought I grabbed the chocolate. I'm not coconut cream. I do love coconut though, so it shouldn't be a problem, but I thought I grabbed the chocolate, but I just figured it'd be good to have a little extra protein, I guess. So that is what I'm going to have. Five smart points to end, to end my day. Five smart points. All right, so I look a little bit like a crazy person, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I crumbled up that cookie and put it in the yo yogurt. It was really good. Um, so I had 30 for 30 today, and I got my 10,000 steps. I got my 10,000 yesterday. Um, update on the washing machine debacle. The guy came to look at it, and it didn't do it again. So he told me to watch it for the next three loads while it's fill filling and make sure it doesn't do it again, and I should be good. I guess we'll see if I end up with a basement full of more water. So I am currently running the machine and it hasn't done it. So I am uh, crossing my fingers. So um, thanks for watching. And if you want the recipe for the chicken bake that was in my dinner, it's on a another video that I made um, and it should be up before this one. All right, talk to you tomorrow.